Hello, I'm Casey O'Mara, Director of Curriculum Slate Valley, and this is the January curriculum update. Uh, so I hope everyone had a restful break um, and is excited to return and um, you know, make certain that we continue with the efforts happen before break um, and then maybe start some new um, action in areas that uh, you've been thinking about before break, but now are ready to enact. Something that we're ready to enact, uh, I guess, is the use of EduClimber. Um, last year, I believe I shared a bit about EduClimber. Um, and so it's a data warehouse that um, Walter Ripley and Kristen Whitman are really building out for us. And it will allow us to centrally house information from PowerSchool, from Swiss, from the SSIS, um, and STAR 360, including STAR CBMs. And it'll allow us to, during meetings, identify students that we want to talk about and then pull them up on our computers or a screen and be able to look at all the information um, from those different places uh, in one central place um, called EduClimber. And so it will allow us to have conversations and look at, you know, not only individual student progress, but also kind of looking across the district at how students are faring. And so give a little bit more detail about what it is um, Kristen Walt and I have been able to identify as useful in putting into Edge Climber for our launch um, in 2024. And our goal is to share Edge Climber login and kind of some exposure to it for administrators in January of 2024, and then plan to have staff and educators um, log into Edge Climber in the spring of 2024. And the hope is that for the 2024-2025 school year, we'll be using Edge Climber regularly in meetings, um, data team meetings, EST meetings, um, ACES meetings, SORT meetings, really anything uh, that would require or benefit from rather um, looking at, at student data to help inform decisions. Um, what I have listed in the document that I'll share out with this video are just kind of updates, highlights, um, and they all kind of flow toward Edge Climber. So the winter star assessment window is opening a bit earlier than had originally been on the assessment plan for this year. I have updated that assessment plan. Um, so January 22nd is when that's going to open. Um, perhaps administration will happen with enough time to digest and reflect on student progress um, halfway through the school year uh, before leaving for February vacation. Um, thanks to those who have been using STAR CBMs along the way, monitoring progress from the fall uh, for students. It's exciting to see the growth that happens when focused on specific progress monitoring uh, skills that people are, are focused on. Um, wanted to highlight some of the work that's happened uh, in the month of December, the creation of a summative assessment document, again, housing that information in PowerSchool, summative assessments that can then be pulled up through Edge Climber and allows us to look at not only star data, but also consistent assessments across elementary grades. Um, to really kind of tease out where it is students might be struggling and might be succeeding as well. Also, um, identifying kind of curricular documents that could be shared more widely with um, stakeholders. Uh, this curriculum overview document that has KUDs and learning progressions is um, full of information, but might be a bit in the weeds for some of our stakeholder groups. So we've decided to create um, curriculum brochures for our elementary um, schools. And so K through six, we'll have documents identifying kind of what it is we're studying that we could hand out at um, open houses or any sort of parent engagement activity, uh, really community engagement activity. 
at the secondary level, middle and high school, um, there's continued revision and development of course criteria sheets. We started that in October um, in conversation with Ben Worthing and Jem Ponquette, the co-principals at Fairhaven Union Middle and High School. We plan to link those documents once they're finalized um, in the late, probably summer of 24, link those on our website next to teachers' names. And it'll again allow um, stakeholder groups, community folks to look at what our intent is in each of the different courses we're offering and not have them get into um, all of the minutia of how it is we're teaching and um, I guess kind of the intricacies which are included in this curriculum overview document. And then something that I'm thinking about and we'll spend more time exploring with the middle and high school um, probably in March at our um, full in-service day is how it is we can do something similar to what elementary schools are doing um, with the summative assessment document and really having us think through common assessments across um, courses, certain courses that are taught by multiple teachers. Um, and so I did some work at Middlebury Union High School um, before I came here a long time ago. Um, and so I wanted to just kind of explore the possibility of perhaps doing something similar in our middle and high school. Again, simply to allow the information in Edge Climber to, to kind of um, have a value beyond just an individual teacher's classroom, but looking at things kind of across um, courses taught by multiple teachers at the secondary level. Uh, again, thank you for everything that you do. And um, I, I hope you had a restful vacation and are rejuvenated and, and looking forward to coming back in January.